Grand Theft Auto 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony Game Review, short game review. You are Lewis, a Latino from the lower class who is is in the environment of the upper class, working with Gay Tony, who manages two clubs, but has become something of a junkie, and the business has suffered. So he has loaned money from some of the wrong people, and you basically have to do, you know, different assignments for them in order to work off that debt. This is better than The Lost and Damned, and fixes some issues that, you know, that were in Grand Theft Auto 4 and that The Lost and Damned didn't, but overall, it's still the same thing. You know, the, the cover mechanic is too slow, the shooting is tedious, and in this one, there is also, it tries really hard to be over the top to compete with Just Cause and Saints Row and such, and it really doesn't, it doesn't fit Grand Theft Auto, although in multiplayer it is more, you know, it, it makes it feel less like Grand Theft Auto, but at least it does, you know, in, in multiplayer you do, you know, yeah, you do somewhat expect really big weapons and vehicles. This adds a helicopter that, in addition to miniguns, also fires rockets. There's an APC with a heavy-duty machine gun, and you have several weapons that are literally explosive. And, yeah, it just doesn't feel like... Yeah, it doesn't feel like it fits in this big city environment. And you, it, it becomes increasingly difficult to believe that the police would just let it slide. It seems like they'd send in a task force and you know, really hunt you down even when they seem to lose track of where you are, which is still far too easy. And this, the tone of this one, it tries to be like Vice City, but where that took place in Miami and really got it right with all the colors, this is still in the same gray and dull city that Grand Theft Auto 4 and The Lost and Damned are, and for those two it worked because you were in that kind of environment, and here it just yeah, it, it doesn't feel, it doesn't really fit. The same goes for the radio, which has all the same stations as The Lost and Damned, where the heavy metal and hard rock really fit, and here it really doesn't. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.